happening. My next guest is Barbara Smith. She was attacked by rioters, also making her way to an inaugural ball last week. Barbara, can you tell us what happened? I was on my way to an inaugural ball last weekend, walking down the street in my ball gown, when a man in his apartment opened his window, started yelling at me, and then pelted me with eggs. Uh, it was really unfortunate, although I was lucky that a very kind couple saw what happened, invited me into their apartment, let me clean off, and I made my way onto the ball. All right, so you wrote an opinion piece, I think, for the Wall Street Journal. You talk about how you picked yourself up, cleaned up, and went to the ball. But how did that incident make you determined to back President Trump? Can you explain to the viewer? Sure. I think it's a really sad indictment on the state of our political discourse these days that some people think it's okay to throw eggs or bricks or insults at people based on an assumption about who they might have voted for and therefore what they think or believe or feel. Um, it wasn't true in my case, um, and I don't want to live in the kind of country where we make those kinds of assumptions about people and we have those kinds of temper tantrums. I'd much rather live in a country where it's okay to have reasonable, you know, intelligent, thoughtful, even passionate disagreements about the most important issues that our country faces. Yeah, it's an important point. While you're talking, we're showing a split screen of hooded uh, black, they're wearing black hooded um, jackets. They're, the rioters uh, were also in masks, which is against the law. Uh, many in the FBI say that these are paid for anarchists. And, you know, the, the protesters who they wanted to do peaceful protests, we get it. First Amendment, free speech rights. They're really sure. upset by the infiltration of these rioters. They don't like it. And this is not the sure. first time we've seen people egged by anti-Trump rioters. You know, we saw it take place during the campaign. And so it looks like the campaign violence is not stopping. What are your thoughts? I think we could all do, uh, do well to take the advice of folks on the left that we often hear, which is to be truly open-minded and thoughtful and considerate of one another. Um, I wish we really did have more space in our political discourse for disagreement so that people didn't feel afraid to voice an opinion one way or the other. You know, since this happened to me and I published my op-ed in The Wall Street Journal, I've received hundreds of emails from folks all around the country who said, I voted for Donald Trump because I just wanted something different. Um, but I'm afraid to admit that to my colleagues or my family or my friends because of the way they talk about Trump support. And I really don't think that's okay. I don't think that's good for our country. Thank you, Barbara Smith. Come back soon. We love having you on. Thanks a lot. Sure. Well, she was on our show last night. Today, the president.